My name is Christina. I am an engineering director at Condé Nast, which is basically a publication company in New York City. And I'm really excited to talk about Ember CLI Deploy, in particular, the Lightning Deployment Strategy. As a little bit of background at Condé, we use Ember to power our homegrown internal CMS called Copilot. And actually, this Ember application has been in production for five years, and it's going pretty strong. It's a multi-tenant application, so what that means is that editors from all of our different brands come to one single installment of Copilot to create and publish their content to the web. In other exciting news, um, sometime last year, we decided to expand to our sister international brands overseas at Condé Nast International. So that means a lot of expansion and scale. And that was a really good opportunity for us to think about, all right, how can we take another look at our deployment workflow and see if we can streamline it a bit. The current deployment workflow looks a little bit like this. Say you're a brand and you want to add a field to your form template. Say you're a Vogue developer. You actually have to bring down the Copilot repository, make a commit to that repo, which then triggers a build on our continuous integration server, Jenkins. And what Jenkins does is run an Ember test, um, an Ember build, creates those assets, and copies them over to the server to be deployed to everyone. Then, to promote those changes to staging and production, we actually have to go through that workflow again. This is not completely ideal for us. It's not ideal because it's really time consuming. At least for our Ember application, that Jenkins build will take 20 minutes to do an MPMI, um, to run an Ember build, and to run our test suite. So from your local development to production, you're looking at like at least one hour without QA. And that's really inopportune when you're trying to get a hotfix out really quickly. Additionally, um, there were no isolation of changes. So that one change to evoke template had to be deployed to the entire multi-tenant application. We think we can do better. So the team decided to look into Ember CLI Deploy, which is basically an add-on for um, creating a single interface for deploying your Ember application. In particular, we looked at Ember CLI Deploy, Deploy Lightning Pack, which is one of the plugins, um, which is a, basically a pack of plugins, actually, that were really unique to specific infrastructure. Um, that pack also employs the lightning deployment strategy, which I think as a, maybe like a refresher for all of you, has about three steps. One, it builds your Ember application, builds those assets. Two, deploys those assets to two different targets. One, um, an S3, and the other one, it actually caches your index HTML blob to Redis, keyed by the version. Then when you're good and ready, you can activate that version by just updating the current pointer to the version that you want, in this example, 321B. So we like this lightning strategy a lot. We liked it so much that we decided to break out our monolith application to multiple modules and then rig up Ember CLI deploy on each one of those modules. Then, um, so in this diagram, in the middle, you have the common functionality of the CMS, and then each brand gets their own module. And every time you run an Ember CLI deploy, it produces a lot of great building blocks that we can use to mix and match and create our final index HTML file to be deployed out to our customers. Concretely, um, those building blocks are the Redis entries for what is currently activated in the core and what is currently activated for the brand that you're concerned with, in this case, Vogue. Additionally, there's the index HTML file skeleton that we can use the previous two entries to kind of inject the script tags for what we need to produce our final index HTML file over on the right. So now the current deployment looks a little bit like this. Vogue developer can make their commit to just their brand bundle, which kicks off an Ember CLI deploy in combination with the core um, deployment artifacts. We can create our final index HTML file to be served by our servers. And the even better part is that just to promote that change to staging production, you just have to update some pointers. So that was a lot of hand-waving, but at the end of the day, um, the primitives that Ember CLI Deploy gave us um, allowed us to have instantaneous releases because all we had to do was update Redis entries. We have independent isolated deployments per brand because we have these separate modules, and no deployment strategy would be good without zero downtime. Um, so for more documentation and um, examples, you can look at emberclideploy.com. It has a really, it's really great information. Um, again, my name is Christina, and thank you.